There are monsters that are hiding in every corner of the monsterverse, be they titans or lesser creatures. Animals that seem to be of different reality but still evolve the same way as any other living being on the planet. Some of these monsters don't even go along with the normal plan animal classification, but are a bit of both. All around the world are these titans seen but not as diverse as the ones of Skull Island. In Skull Island, isolated from any solid continent, creatures here are left to evolve independent of others and mutations occur that make them into the most strange looking animals seen by the naked eye. Many of these creatures haven't reached or not meant to reach the status of Titan, but are still bigger than any other animal in the world. Coming up is the list of creatures and monsters in the Monsterverse Skull Island. Gong Gong was named by the Iwi natives of Skull Island. The name also corresponds to the name of Congo, an African country known for its population of gorillas, the apes that Gong greatly resembles. Standing over 104 feet tall or 31.7 meters, the beast they call Gong is a primate of such size and ferocity that his very existence rewrites every chapter of evolutionary theory. More mountain than mammal, he walks upright on two legs, his towering form shaking the ground with each thunderous step. It is hard to say how long Kong has existed but initial analysis of bone structure and teeth suggests that the creature is an adolescent. He is still growing. Kong is similar to Godzilla in several ways. Both are the last of their kind. Both have a vendetta against their natural enemies, the skull crawlers and the mutos, who have killed the rest of their species. And both are portrayed as morally neutral apex predators who maintain order and have no personal quarrel with humans. Skull Crawlers Skull crawlers got their name from the skull-like heads and their crawling locomotion. Skull crawlers are large reptilian creatures with only two long forelimbs and no hind limbs as well as long prehensile serpentile tails. They have long and slender yet muscular sturdy bodies. Several aspects of their appearance are noticeably skeletal, particularly their torsos and their heads. Small skull crawlers are easily distinguishable from larger ones. Their heads are smaller and more sloped. They also possess a more prominently brown skin tone. Larger skull crawlers are larger and almost as big as Kong. The small ones range from 12 to 40 feet long, while the big one is 60 to 70 feet tall and almost 200 feet long. Mire Squids The Mire Squid seemingly gets its name from its environment, as Mire refers to a stretch of swampy and boggy ground, the same areas they tend to inhabit. They are ambush predators that lurk in the waters of Skull Island for unsuspecting prey. Despite their great strength and endurance, Maya squids have limited durability as Kong was able to effortlessly crush the head of one with his foot, resulting in its death. This creature is as long as Kong's height, between 90 and 110 feet. Mother Longlegs Mother Longlegs' name is based on the famous term Daddy Longlegs, a common name for various types of insects and arachnids. The mother prefix refers to the species as female only. The mother longlegs are gigantic spider-like creatures that stand around 5 to 7 meters tall and they possess incredibly long legs that resemble bamboo stalks, allowing them to blend in seamlessly with the surrounding forest, with their legs posing as plants and their upper bodies held high above the canopy. The top half of the mother longlegs are covered in leaves with 8 red eyes. In addition to their 8 legs, Mother long legs possess two additional limbs located close to their heads, which are equipped with pincer-like claws. Psycho Vultures The name Psycho Vulture comes from a mix of Psycho, a state they go into upon ingesting certain poisonous pufferfish, and Vulture, which is a reference to their avian form. While their subspecies Leaf Wing comes from their wing design, which is both green and shaped much like a leaf, which is multiplied by the veins running through their wings. Psycho vultures are grey, large, bat-like creatures possessing a wide wingspan and snub-nosed skulls. Leaf wings are smaller, more pterosaur-like creatures that are about the same size as adult humans. They are green in color with yellow heads, orange wings and long spear-like snouts covered with jagged edges. Scurve Buffaloes The name of the creature, specifically its scientific nomenclature, is potentially derived from a scary which is a small rocky island which tend to be home to moss and grasses. Scare buffaloes greatly resemble abnormally large water buffaloes but with several differences. They possess incredibly large horns that have forked into at least three branches. The scare buffalo is a super biological bovid that is largely amphibious in its grazing patterns. Initially phylogenetic studies show DNA ancestry with the Asian water buffalo. 
inhabiting lakes and large river systems, the Skur Buffalo is equipped with a remarkably evolutionary advantage. The beast's back and flanks are fused with hardy bone structures and dense green foliage. This creature is a flora fauna of Skull Island. Spore Mantises Spore Mantises resemble a stick insect, albeit one so big it instead mimics a fallen log. They have six wood-shaped legs and bark-like skin covering their bodies, and their head is small and retractable into the log-like covering. A gigantic precursor to the Phasmothodia order, the spore mantis is in essence a stick insect the size of a mature redwood tree. The limbs of its bark skin body house powerful muscle systems that is a unique interweaving of straight tendons and fibral structural tissues more commonly found in the stems and roots of trees. These appendages allow the spore mantis to scuttle across ground at alarming speed. Bigger spore mantises reach lengths of up to 15 meters or 50 feet long. Death Jackals Death Jackals, also known as Pine Mortem, are reptilian kaiju that first appeared in the MonsterVerse comic Skull Island The Birth of Kong. Death Jackals resemble a cross between large dromaeosaurids and hyenas with long limbs and hairy spikes. They have long snouted reptilian faces and a spiky mane running down the back of their necks. It is unclear if they are primarily bipedal or quadrupedal as many individuals are seen missing some limbs. With the agility of a leopard and the bite power of a great white shark, the Death Jackal is one of the most hyper-energetic creatures of the island. The creature's spine is partly exoskeletal, sharpening into a mane of spike fibers that are as sharp as razor wires. Existing in a constant state of rabbit ferocity, it will devour its own kind and even itself if a kill is hard to come by. A Death Jackal size is close to large raptor species, ranging from 6 to 12 feet long. Siren Jaws Siren Jaws, also known as Gigantus Crocodiliot, are giant reptilian kaiju that first appeared in the MonsterVerse comic Skull Island The Birth of Kong. The Siren Jaw is an ambush predator that lies in wait for any potential prey to land on its island-like back. The Siren Jaw is a massive crocodilian-like creature covered in plant life with small orange eyes and large jaws filled with razor-sharp teeth. When submerged in water, the creature greatly resembles an island. The Siren Jaw is a colossal crocodilian predator indigenous to the lakes and tributaries of the southern jungle. Its hybrid physiology exhibits some of the most extreme examples of flora fauna as yet seen. As it matures, the Siren Jaw goes into a pubescent stage in which a small nursery of deciduous trees grow on its rocky back. The size of these Siren Jaw creatures ranges from 45 to 65 feet long. Swarm Locus Lying beneath the surface of the swamplands to the east of the island, these submergent insectoids extend their woody limbs above the surface making them indistinguishable from the abundant wetland foliage surrounding it. Swarm locusts, also known as Stagnum acrididae, are insect kaiju that first appeared in the MonsterVerse comic Skull Island The Birth of Kong. Swarm locusts resemble large water nymphs with lamprey-like mouth and tigerfish-like teeth. Magma Turtles Magma turtles, also known as Tortoisa vulcana, are giant turtle kaiju that first appeared in MonsterVerse comic Skull Island The Birth of Kong. Magma turtles are gigantic turtles with rock-like shells and trees sprouting from them. Indigenous to the volcanic shelf around the base of Hellspring Break, these gigantic turtles appear to be born from eggs hatched in the heart of the volcano. As the molten rock heats and cracks the shell layer, magma engulfs the embryonic life form hardening into a resilient stone shell. These creatures are 30 to 40 feet tall. Vine Stranglers Vine Stranglers, also known as Vitus strangulari, are giant insect kaiju that live on Skull Island. Vine Stranglers are named for their vine-like appearances and their behavior of strangling their victims to death. Vine Stranglers are large, catedid, stick insect-like creatures whose bodies have evolved closely to resemble tree branches and vines. The Holy Tiger The Icarus Tigress is a monster Originally intended to appear in the 2017 MonsterVerse film Kong Skull Island, however, it does appear in the film's Chinese marketing The Monarch Files 2.0 featured on home video release. A holy tiger resembles a giant Siberian tiger, though white in color. Reddish-black stripes run throughout the tiger's body and its face is tinted bright red. It also contains a pair of palish blue eyes. Most notably, they adorn an impressive pair of stag-like antlers on top of their heads. 
So anyway, this brings us to the end of the list and do like, share and subscribe for more kaiju and monster related content. And do check out our other videos as well.